Stuart, the new head coach of Notts County, welcome. Um, before we talk about the exciting challenge that's ahead of you, I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk about the club that you've left behind, Wheelstone. I know it, it's a club that will be always very close to your heart. Just tell us about your experience there and how it feels to have moved on. Yeah, look, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Rory, the chairman who gave us the opportunity within COVID. Uh, and we've been here for four seasons and we had really success there. And it's, it's very hard because you build an affiliation with the fans and and it's it's been quite emotional this week because we looked at it, it'd have to take some club to pull us away from Millstone. And obviously when knots come up and we knew that they were interested, uh, it was something that we were really excited about, but also knowing that the fans and everything that we were leaving behind at Wheelstone was going to be difficult. Uh, and there'll always be a club close to our hearts now. And we'll always look back on their results and they'll be one of the first that we probably check. So look, it's been an emotional day for us, uh, but it's a day now that we're excited and we're looking forward to the new challenge. What is it about the Notts County Challenge that excites you the most, do you think? It ticks a lot of boxes in, in everything, is in the values of the club now, the, the morals behind it. There's a, there's a human element here uh, that we, we loved from the owners. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's lots of things with the philosophy on the pitch. I think it ticks us for the fans that know that when you've come up against Wheelstone, we're a footballing team. We play the same shape as what you guys do. Uh, and we're excited with the challenge now of coming here and being able to test ourselves working at this, this club. Tell us about your conversations with the board obviously not in a I wouldn't expect any great detail but just generally you know your conversations with, with Chris and Alex Rich Montague you know have they given you a real sort of good feeling about the about the job yeah uh, unbelievable like it, it ticks pretty much every box like I just said so look it's, it's really exciting for us when you sit down with them and you see their passion for the club and the direction that they want to go in and the project uh, and the processes that are put in in place they're very process driven and us as a management team, we're process driven and we believe in it and stick into what you believe in and, and that's what we love so much about and it, it feels here, it's all as one. It's not just me sat here as the head coach, it's you guys as the media, it's the physio, it's the S&C, it's the kit, like kit man, it's, it's everyone at the club, everyone's in it together and everyone plays their part to make sure that we get three points on a Saturday and it's something that it really excites us to come and work in that environment because it gives us the best opportunity every week to win games of football and, and it's incredible the way the fans have bought in now. Uh, when we come back, when we first played here, I think that the philosophy was kind of being installed by the new ownership and, and previous managers in Ian. And now I think that they've kind of totally bought in. So we're looking forward to coming in and play exciting football, attacking football, which you've seen pretty much this season. It's interesting because as the Wheelstone manager, you obviously saw a lot of knots and kind of saw our progress and eventual promotion. Have you almost been keeping an eye, an interested eye on the club since we went up to see how we adapted to life in the league? Yeah, definitely. Look, I spoke to Luke and I'd always kind of in contact with Luke. I think when you come up against managers that you kind of tactically test yourselves against, I think you kind of stay in contact because you kind of have that close affinity to the way that you think about football. Uh, so look, Notts is a club that when we come up here and played against you guys a number of times and tactically the games the way they were, but your quality was too much for us within the games. And the fan base here is incredible. It's something that really stuck with us that even when you went 1-0 down, the fans really got behind the lads and it's, it's incredible because that's hard to deal with, especially as a part-time club coming into the league and it's tough. So, But the fan base here getting behind the team and backing them has been incredible. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting. You've probably been here about an hour so far, but you've had a whistle-stop tour. You've met quite a few people from various areas of the club. Just give us your first impressions of walking around here as the head coach of Notts County. It seems like everyone within the club eats, sleeps and breathes the football club uh, and they've made us feel really welcome and like, we appreciate that. And Look, we're honoured to be here now and be the management team of, of Notts County. It's, it's a club that we've respected in the far in everything that they've done on and off the pitch. So look, we're excited to be here and, and meeting the staff around the place now. We're really excited to be working with them now. Yeah, you use the word we there, and I think it's really important to talk about Matt and Craig Saunders who are, are coming alongside of you. Can you just give us an impression of what they're like as people and what their roles will be? Look, we're all, we're all similar characters. Uh, Craig will be coming in as first team coach and we'll work closely with lads, kind of like individually and drip feed during the week, tactically what we do. Me and Matty work really close together. We're kind of as one, really. Uh, we don't see it as like the head coach and assistant, we kind of see us as one. Uh, but tactically, that's what we are. We're tactically very good and, and we back ourselves against anyone tactically that we come up against and that's kind of the roles that they will play within it. 
Let's talk about the squad that you've inherited. Um, clearly, a, a lot of fantastic players there and performing well in the first season back in the in League Two. Just give us your sort of overview of how excited you are to be working with this group of players. Look, I think it's key to say, look, Luke done an incredible job here. The last 18 months, uh, the football club's been on an incredible journey and they're still on it. And that's one of the things that's excited us so much about coming in and working with this squad because we know the players, we know the quality and the ability that they've got in here. Uh, I'm really excited to be coming in and working with that quality and then implementing little things that we feel that we can improve on. So look, we're incredibly excited to be working with this talented squad. And But look, for Luke, I think he's done an incredible job for the last 18 months and I think everyone will say it. And I think the players bought into it and it's not very often in management you're coming into a, a, a club that's in a really good place. So we're really excited about that. Normally you're coming into a job where you've got to come in and firefight a bit. Walking about the place today, everyone's together, everyone's looking to move forward and it's, it's us as a management team now and us as a group. We want to get on that journey now and all stick together and keep moving forward. Jim O'Brien, Tom Wheel, Joao Alves have done a fantastic job of steering the club through these last couple of weeks. I guess they're going to be really important people for you to build an early relationship with and, and work on through the, the transitional period of you arriving. Incredible. Jim's done an, an incredible job. Obviously, we've listened to interviews and, and that from afar and he's conducted himself brilliantly to, to be able to be like a player and then step onto that side and try and do both roles, try and stay fit enough to be available for selection and stuff. He's done an incredible job, but all the staff look... They've, they've steadied the ship and it does take steadying sometimes when you when you get a loss of a manager like Luke walking out of the football club. So they've steadied the ship brilliantly. Now we've just got to come on and steer that ship back on the right course. And I think that we're on the right course. The club's put, the lads especially, have put themselves in an unbelievable position uh, to have a really successful season. What do the next day, two, three days, I know obviously we've got Stockport on Saturday, but from a personal point of view, you've got to adapt to life, I guess, in a, in a new city. What, what's the plan for you? Uh, we'll be looking into areas, me, Matty and Craig, we'll, we'll move up here. We believe that when an opportunity like this comes up, you've got to give it everything. And I think that that kind of gets into the lads within the group if they know that you're fully committed. So it's something that we will, we'll look, we'll look into the areas and speak to you guys around them, what the areas are and good to live in. We want to live as close as we can to the club because we believe we want to be here as much as possible, prepping and preparing ourselves for each game and session. So uh, it's something that we'll be f fully committed to and coming up and make sure we give it the best opportunity. And you'll have contact with the lads for the first time tomorrow. How excited are you to be standing in front of them? Yeah, looking really looking forward to it tomorrow. You kind of want it to happen quicker than you do. We can't wait to get our first training session tomorrow as well with the group. And we're really looking forward to the game on Saturday. I think the fans are all looking forward to giving you a warm welcome. Obviously, as you, as you say, you know, the club's been through a bit of a, a disappointing time having lost Luke, but you know, it seems that you're going to bring a huge amount of energy, dedication to the role, and there's plenty of good times to look forward to, hopefully. Oh, definitely. Look, when, when someone goes on their journey and they, they move on, it opens up another door, and we feel that we're going to come in, step in that door and take it and keep progressing the club and hoping that we can you know, keep progressing. They're in and around the playoffs now. Winning games of football is what this club's used to. It's something that we know we're not silly. When we come in, we've got to make sure that we kind of keep that trend and winning games of football in a tough division. I think we also have to acknowledge that it's a fantastic, ambitious appointment from Chris and Alex in terms of giving you an opportunity to work in the EFL as a head coach. How grateful are you for that and how excited does that make you to really succeed in the role? Yeah, hugely grateful. Uh, they go away, they do their due diligence on everyone. Uh, they kind of know what they're getting when they're bringing us in and that's what we loved so much about it that a lot of jobs you think a lot of people apply for jobs this is a job that they kind of do their research on you and then they kind of end up wanting you so like it's something that for us that kind of ticks all those boxes that they kind of know exactly what they're going to get from us they watch all the interviews back uh, their detail of what they went into when we sat down with them was incredible uh, so look, it's the same as us we're very detailed meticulous uh, and we're very structured in the way we want to work so it kind of worked both ways yeah we're, we're hugely excited and we're, we're delighted that they've given us the opportunity. League leaders on Saturday um, what yeah. sort of a first game is that as a prospect for you? Yeah look I think the bigger the games the better this is a football club that wants to be involved in these games and I think that over the last 18 months that's what you've been involved in every week week in week out and it's something that excites us now that every week something really matters on it and we're looking forward to be challenging the likes of Stockport and that and I believe that that's where this football club should be at the top end of the league competing 
and challenging against the likes of Stockport. Obviously, we played against Stockport uh, in the National League the season that they got promoted. So look, it's a challenge that we're looking forward to. We know, we know lots about them. We know their strengths, we know their weaknesses. So yeah, we're looking forward to the game on Saturday. And it's not just Stockport, it's Barrow the week after, then Mansfield the week after that, and then you're sort of in getting towards mid-Feb and you're right in the crunch, so you've, you've joined at such an exciting time. Oh, really exciting. If you look at, you just mentioned some teams, and they're all in the playoff position, so there's a hell of a lot of points to pay, play for in that top end of the league, and it's exciting times for everyone at the football club. We're in January, which is obviously the transfer window. Um, it works slightly differently here, I think it's fair to say, than at most other clubs. What's your view on the way that the club handles its recruitment? I think the recruitment in probably the last two to three seasons has been incredible. Uh, the way that they've, they've pulled out players that are unknown, uh, Langstaff just as one, and you look at how he's flourishing now and that there's, I could go through probably five to ten players within the dressing room now that the recruitment's been spot on and it's something that excited us as well that we can solely focus on football. When we were at Wheelstone we had to kind of Worry, we did everything from the analysis all the way to the recruitment to everything, but it's been a really good grounding for us to know exactly how it works from right at the bottom end right the way to the top. But look, it's something that we're, we're looking forward to and working within that model.